They thought they had Christ in their grasp. They thought they could do with him as they pleased. Thus did they mutilate him and nail him to the cross. They laughed as he promised his vengeance would fall upon them. But he stayed true to his words. The earth they trod upon ran red with blood. The cities they resided in were engulfed by flames. Having witnessed their defeat, they hid amidst the faithful. They thought they would be safe. They were mistaken. Ever steadfast inquisitors, masters at discerning subtleties and signs, followed their trail. With the words of the scripture, did they convert the heretics? With fire, did they cleanse the witches? By their hands were the deceitful vampires impaled. In the name of Christ and for his eternal glory! Welcome to Königstein, Master Inquisitor. My name's Bertram, the Guard Captain. Mortimer Maladine, licensed Inquisitor, in service to the Bishop of Hez Hezram. The Holy Office informed us of your arrival. I must admit that I'm surprised by the purpose of this visit. I don't believe there's a vampire lurking in Königstein. There hasn't been a recorded sighting of one in these parts for what must have been a century. That doesn't mean there isn't one here. Fair enough. That's why my men and I will do our best to assist you. As far as we are able to, of course. Thank you, Captain. I'm just following the mayor's orders, so it's him you should be thanking, not me. If you wish to express your gratitude personally, go to the fair. He's attempting to raise funds there today. My men will show you the way. Now, please excuse me. I need to check on the outpost at the other gates. You were right. He's an Inquisitor. I told you. I spotted the Inquisitor's insignia right away. Only they can wear them. Bloody don't catch her. <laughs> Quiet, fool or you'll bring trouble on our heads. What did you call me? Uh, uh, he meant no offense, Master. He doesn't think that at all. Don't play me for a fool. Your commander will hear of this. He will administer your punishment. Don't do it, master. The captain will throw me out of the guard. I beg you. Have mercy. Why, isn't today a celebration of Christ triumphant? Are you tempting an Inquisitor into committing the sin of mercy? Please. I'll do anything for you. Anything? I swear by the broken cross. The captain mentioned there's a fair currently being held in town. Where exactly? In the town square. You can't miss it, Master. But be wary of ruffians. The sons of whores are always lurking near the stands. Do you know anything about a vampire? One is supposedly lurking around these parts. 
I haven't heard anything. How about you? Me neither. Um, what's gonna happen to me? I'll find you. Should the need arise. Then we shall see the value of your oath. So be it. 
I'll get him some other time. All daredevils who don't shy away from a challenge. A tournament is being held to win the favor of the queen of last year's Mama's Parade. The winner will have the honor of entertaining the beautiful Liliana during the Mama's Parade, which will begin tomorrow after the Vespers service, as is customary. Anyone can try their luck. The entry fee is but one silver angel. Reach into your purses. The collected funds will go toward building a new monument to Christ triumphant, one majestic enough to eclipse that piece of trumpery from Phoebus. Well, well, the Inquisitor himself graces us with his presence. I'm happy to see you, Master. I am Guido von Herzen, the town's mayor. It is nice to meet you, mayor. What is your name, master? Mortimer Maradine. Mortimer. I'll be sure to remember that. Emissaries of the Holy Office rarely visit us. I do hope that Captain Bertram gave you a proper welcome. He's a soldier through and through. He can come off as blunt and boorish, but I've yet to meet a better soldier. His behavior was befitting of a guard commander. He brought you no shame. Excellent. I'll gladly speak to you later, but now I must attend to a certain matter. And the tournament, of course. I only wish to thank you for offering assistance in catching the vampire. If you truly wish to thank me, Take part in the tournament. You'll be mixing business with pleasure. I shouldn't waste time on idle merriment. Although, since the monument to Christ Triumphant is at stake, add my name to the list. I'm so happy. The other contestants looked insufferably boring, but you're something else. I noticed it immediately. Well... I'm far from ordinary. You'll be the king of the Mama's Parade, which necessitates that you wear the proper attire. Not far from here, there's a merchant who deals in fancy clothing. Buy a costume from him, even if it's only a mask. Meanwhile, I'll attend to my errands. I will see you later. Contra el que fue tiene un insidio este año, 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 este año
Forgive me, Master Inquisitor, but some sacks have fallen off our wheelbarrow. We must clear them away. So the passage will be blocked for a while. Are you using your fists instead of brooms? You mean this? <laughs> it's nothing, just a friendly scuffle. If you're going to the fair, the main street is the fastest route. Finally, an opponent. I was starting to put down roots. supposed to guard. I rarely meet my betters. You've given me a valuable lesson. Thank you. Upon reaching Golgotha, the centurion in command of the legionnaires gazed upon Jesus and said, Hop up onto the cross I've set up for you! Jesus obeyed the command, as he didn't want the centurion's work to have been for naught. However, his time upon the cross was brief. It's pretty uncomfortable up here. He longed for his freedom. So he broke the patibulum and leapt to the ground. You destroyed my beautiful cross! Woe upon you! The Centurion threw himself at the Messiah, sword in hand. But Jesus did not allow him to strike. He who raises the cross dies by the cross. He seized the broken arm of the cross and struck first. Ah, Emperor Tiberius became wroth upon learning that. He decided to deal with Christ. Personally. You killed my loyal servant. It'll cost you your head. That I swear. 
Here's my payment. Jesus snatched the Centurion's sword and cut off Tiberius's head, thus fulfilling the oath and payment of one head. The Emperor is dead. Long live Jesus triumphant, our Lord and everlasting King! And that is how Christ claimed the throne of the Emperor. Rob me. Ruffian! He went there! He stole my purse! The little snot reeks of rotten fish. The hag must have bathed in perfume. Made me lose the scent. It's not him. Let go! It hurts! Show me what's in your hand first. I saw you take it from a town person's cart. It's just an apple. What's your name? And where are your parents? I'm Amelia. And my parents and siblings are dead. They all died two years ago from the Plague of Pox. So, who looks after you now? Nobody. I don't need anyone looking after me. I can look after myself. By stealing. I was hungry. You won't fill your belly with just anything. What are you gonna do with me? Hand me over to the guards? Give the apple back and be off. Just don't tell anyone you stole it. It would be better if you said it fell from his car. Off you go then. I need your fill. Welcome, Master Inquisitor. How can I be of service? Inquisitor? Well, we're colleagues, then. Name's Roland. Master Executioner. Mortimer Matadine. Licensed Inquisitor. In service to the Bishop of hez -Hezron. If you need help, stop by the dungeons. I have a few toys there that will certainly make your job easier. Well, merchant, you've wasted enough of my time. Got anything for the executioner? Here are the mask and costume of the merry executioner from Tianon. The butcher who disappeared off the face of the earth a few years ago? He was a devil. So devils dragged him under. He's sure to be dancing in hell as we speak. <laughs> Poppycock! Piss off, or I'll give you a good lashing. How did the mask of the Merry Executioner from Tianan find its way to a merchant's stand? Look at it, Inquisitor! Beautiful, isn't it?
What did you dig up there, friend? It's been a while since I've had a vision. Why would Christ decide to send me one now? What is it he wanted to tell me? <laughs> What's with you, Inquisitor? You seem at a loss for words. I bet you'd like to buy the costume of the Merry Executioner for yourself. Absolutely not. I was first. Damned headsman. He paid with gold he got from a convict on the scaffold. I saw the wretch put a coin in his hand, begging for one clean cut. What you mean? Didn't it take him three swings to behead the man? The Butcher revels in cruelty. Supposedly, he lost his position as Royal Executioner. You're better off taking your own life than letting him lay his mitts on you. From where did you get the mask and costume of the Merry Executioner from Tiananmen? I knew him, so I know that he considered the Jester costume a shameful symbol of degeneration and brutishness, which is why he hid it. No one knew where. I... Bought it, Master. Where? And from whom? Talk! An old lady sold it to me. One I met on the road, leading through the woods. I saw her dog digging out the Merry Executioner's outfit. I'd seen the man many times in the past, so I immediately recognized the mask. I paid a fair price for it. The scoundrel's hiding something. I can feel it. your silver angel to good use you bought a dog instead of food i saw it at the stand with masks the merchant's son was tormenting him something awful i couldn't just ignore it it looks like the mutt i saw in my vision what's it called don't know i haven't named it yet how about friend yes it suits him <laughs> and i think he likes it how about it, friend? Take good care of him, Scamp. Don't worry, Inquisitor. He'll be happy with me. Let's go, friend. I wasn't wrong. It's the dog from the vision. I wonder how it ended up at the merchant stand. Maybe I'll find out in the unworld. There's a needle hidden somewhere in the hay. You have to find it. I wonder... in which haystack? You can use the tools that you see on the table. <sighs> this task is utter nonsense. What should I choose? Alexander the Great didn't bother with untangling the Gordian knot. He just cut straight through it. Am I supposed to chop the hay with my sword? Have you gone mad? It's just a haystack, not your best friend. The sun's out. Use the- And what's your business here, eh? Off with you. Go on. Scam probably meant the magnifying glass. <laughs> she wasn't wrong. It'd be easiest to just burn this damned hay.
There it is.
unit betrayed you. Should have sold me the mask and costume when I was asking nicely, witch. You're probably wondering how I knew you for a witch. Hmm? Your amulet betrayed you. <coughs> we'll meet again, Knave. I don't think so. Farewell, friend. You lied to me, merchant. You didn't buy the Mary Executioner's costume. You took it from the old lady that you burnt at the stake. How do you know all this? You can't hide the truth from an Inquisitor. Didn't you know that? Forgive me, Master. I didn't want to speak of it in front of my customers. They wouldn't buy my wares that they heard. She was a witch. A real witch. I did a good deed by killing her. You would have done the same in my place. The Mandrake amulet you took from her has to be destroyed. Give it to me. The Holy Office does not tolerate lynching. Only licensed Inquisitors are allowed to sentence people to the stake, and only after a thorough investigation. You are not a licensed Inquisitor, are you? Guards! Yes, Master? The merchant violated an Inquisitorial prerogative. Take him to the dungeon. Leave me be! I haven't done anything wrong! She was a witch! Get your fucking hands off my father, you scoundrels! The mouthy punk was tormenting the dog. Put him in the stocks for an entire day. Let the children throw some horse dung at him. It'll teach the punk to treat lesser creatures with respect. With pleasure, master. And what about the stand? Yeah. 
In the name of the Holy Office, I hereby confiscate the merchandise to cover the costs of your trial. Seal this lousy stand once he's locked in a cell. Unless the people steal everything by then. No. I'll beg you. It's all I have. Now that this is settled, I could use some wine. Is your wine any good? Finest Rhenish vintage, Master Inquisitor. Sweet as the body of a virgin, and strong to boot. Pour a rummer. That'll be five silver angels. That is a truly noble beverage. So take six. The Holy Office is paying. There you are. Do you have the mask? I didn't find anything to my liking. Then we'll just have to think of something. Now come, you'll walk me home. On the way, you'll tell me why you were dispatched to Königstein. If it's not a secret, that is. It's not. Everyone will be talking about Mordima, come here. Your queen awaits. I'm about it soon anyway. The Holy Office received news of a vampire prowling the town. I am to see if there is any truth to it. A vampire in Königstein? This is the first time I'm hearing about it. The Holy Office here is much more than ordinary people. So then, how do you intend to find it? I'll start with the inns. I'll listen to the rumors. Ask around with the staff and the regulars. Then you should definitely stop by the Frisky Mermaid. It's the town's most popular inn. The fat innkeeper is likely to know about everything that's going on in Königstein. Get out of here. Stand behind me! Oh. In the name of the Lord! Red coats, leggings. We are grateful for the rescue. You've arrived just in time. Such was God's will. Who were the assailants? I don't know. I didn't recognize any of them. I know that one from the harbor. Must have been part of that gang. 
We've been looking for you, mistress. The Cardinal asks that you come to the Cathedral post-haste. You? I don't know. Who are you? Mortimer Matadin. Licensed Inquisitor. In service to the Bishop of Hezezran. Forgive the insistence, Master Matadin. Welcome to Königstein. I shall inform the Cardinal of your arrival. His eminence is currently preoccupied, but he will certainly wish to speak with you later. Come to the cathedral between the first and second tolling of the bells for Vespers. It is the time of day when the Cardinal talks to worshippers. Do not worry about the bodies of these villains. The town guard will dispose of them. Tell the Cardinal that I will be there. Please forgive my brusqueness, Mordemar. This assault made me lose my composure. Sadly, I must leave you here. Duty calls. I'll see you tomorrow at the Mama's Parade. Duty. And she works for the Cardinal. Good to know. Rotten fish. That small time ruffian had the same stench about him. Maybe he was working for them. The Cardinal's soldier mentioned a gang prowling the harbor. If I found that hideout, I could recover my sure skin. Hmm. It's worth a try.
steady advance of security as the listeners. Maybe it'll so leave those gangs hide out as we look most. no lock. The door has been bolted from the inside. Spare me, sir! I beg you! I have children! Who sent you after me? A woman hired us in the harbour. She wore an expensive Venetian mask, so I didn't see her face. But her voice seemed familiar. She was wearing white gloves and paid with silver. Do you know who I am? Inquisitor! The whole town's been talking about you. And yet you decided to come after me. A man can't say no to coin when he's got none to feed his children. Have you heard anything about a vampire? It's what the noble folk call us. The have-nots. They say we suck the town and its funds dry. But it's been years since anyone's heard of any actual vampires. I should kill you, but I will spare your life. Should you meet the woman in the Venetian mask again, tell her that an Inquisitor is not easily frightened. Strange coins. Right. And what's this? 
A city map with underground entrances marked on it. Could be useful. There's nothing for me here. Time to look into the vampire case. I hope they've got good wine at the Frisky Mermaid. Do you know a woman who wears a Venetian mask? An expensive one. Half of them wear such masks, Master. Each prattling on about how her mask is special, but they all look the same to me. Did anything happen? A harlot's been murdered. Gruesome sight. Sent for the master. What's everyone staring at? Get out of this camp. It's not a sight for children. Give this to the owner of the Frisky Mermaid Inn. Tell him to prepare a room for me for the night. There's a silver angel in it for you if you do a good job. But if you rob me, I'll find you and burn you at the stake like a witch. Saw something.
Emily Fates. Yes, it's Roxanne, a whore from Burgundy. I saw her around the inn. I even made use of her services a few times. She was good at her job. Half the town's humped that one. I bad it will. Folks say there's this special whore in town. A hermitite, Aphrodite, something. She's got both a fanny and a prick. <laughs> so you and your old lady can ride her together. They say lines are forming to see her. That's how eager to fuck she is. I'm not from around here. I arrived only yesterday for the fair. Don't you know? Satan! It's his doing! He messes with people's heads. The way I see it, you're all fucking suspects. You, me, all of them. <laughs> Fuckers. So, the bloodsuckers are still around, are they? In Königstein? It can't be. Well, there's this one doctor. I hope there's none better at bloodletting. He'll put leeches on you to suck the disease right out. But he'll also drain your purse dry, the bloodsucker. Well, I found out quite a lot. Something stinks of piss here. Maybe someone was using the outhouse while the murder was being committed. It seems to be a piece of a cane. There's no blood on it. I wonder, could it be related to the case? Things like someone took a bath in the door. If you're not those mistress.
did nothing wrong. If that's true, you have nothing to fear. Get up! You're coming with me. And don't try to run, or you'll feel my sword. Hey, you there! Get over here! Yes, Master? Where's Captain Bertram? Interrogating guests at the inn. Who's this bum? And how did he get his hands on a cardinal soldier's coat? I hope we'll find that out soon enough. Watch him. I must have words with your commander. I'm innocent, Master. Shut your mouth, you filthy bastard! No one's asking your opinion! Where were you at that time? Here! Carl can vouch for me. I, I... I was having a beer with him. It is true. It is true. Captain! Forgive me, Master, but I don't have time right now. I know what happened. I saw the corpse. I came because I managed to detain a papa who was behaving suspiciously near the crime scene. Your men are guarding him outside. Off with you! He was wiping blood from this dagger. A strange blade. I've never seen any of its ilk. Nor have I. That is why we must approach this case with due diligence. Especially because the murder bears the marks for a ritualistic killing. Ritualistic? The victim's kidneys were removed. How horrid! That's not all. The suspect was wearing a coat like those worn by the Cardinal's soldiers. A pauper? How is that possible? I assure you that a thorough interrogation will help us determine the facts. I would like to conduct it personally. Preferably in a place that's meant for such purpose. As you wish, Master. I shall lock the suspect in the dungeons. One more thing, Captain. I came to the defense of a lady named Liliana today. We were assaulted by robbers in an alley. The commander of His Eminence's soldiers informed me about the incident. He failed to mention Liliana, though. Odd. Residents of Königstein know the girl serves the Cardinal. They also know that His Eminence doesn't tolerate attacks on his people. Attend to this pauper, Captain. I wish to talk to Master Manadine in private. Is something wrong with you? It's just garlic. My stomach doesn't agree with it, and the innkeeper uses rather excessive amounts of it. Ooh. Luckily, the wine provides a measure of relief. Sit down, please. I would like to talk about the task that brought you here, Master. Do you really believe there's a vampire hiding in town? It's absurd. There hasn't been a vampire attack recorded around here for nearly a century. I would know if it were otherwise. I assure you that I wouldn't have been dispatched to Königstein if there weren't grounds for it. Preposterous. I believe the Holy Office should look into a different matter. Strange events have been taking place here for some time now. Meaning? For years now, the town's been the setting for a dispute between the Cardinal, whom the have-nots hate, and the universally adored Countess Isabella. The Harlot's murder may be a part of that conflict, as could be the assault on Liliana. I have my suspicions, but no concrete proof. 
I know that the Cardinal keeps his secrets in an office that only his monks can access. I've also managed to ascertain that there's a secret chamber at the Countess's palace. My spies were not able to infiltrate it, but you, Master, you just might. Should you accomplish it, the truth would be revealed. What truth? As I have already said, all I have are suspicions. But the inn is not a good place to talk about this. These walls have ears. I must leave town today, so let us meet at the city hall in two days' time. By then, you'll have become acquainted with the case. If you decide I'm right, I'll introduce you to my Persian and tell you everything I've managed to find out so far. Your Persian? Yes, my Persian. The only one I trust. What say you, Master? This is not why I came here. But all right. Perhaps we'll catch two birds with one stone. Excellent. I knew I could count on you. Your station as Inquisitor should guarantee your safety, but proceed cautiously nonetheless. Just in case, I'll announce that you're helping the Captain catch the Harlot's killer. It will explain your interest in the case. See you in two days, Master Matadine. Nothing is an accident. If God did the mayor in my path, then he suddenly had an important reason for it. Maybe that will lead me to the vampire. I asked. Sure did. I'll be back in the morning to collect the Silver Angel you promised me. I'm happy to have you under my roof, Master. The servant girl will get your room ready.